Welcome everybody, my name is Roland King and I am the head diving coach at the Twalton Hills Dive Club in Portland, Oregon. And today we're going to talk a little bit about learning a, a correct back takeoff from a springboard. So, one of the things that I think that most people don't understand when they get into the sport of diving, if they've been in other sports, is that what you're taking off of is going to change the angle as you press down on it. So most people do sports that have a, a constant flat solid surface. So one of the general things that people tend to do is as they start to push the diving board down, that diving board changes angle and your center of gravity has to, you know, do something to respond to that or else it's going to be shooting off away from the diving board farther away than you'd like to. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use your, your shoulders and your, and your hips and your knees and your ankles to as that as that angle changes down and that board pushes down, you're absorbing that angle and you're staying vertical. And then once you get that done, then your coach and you guys can work together with certain arm swings that will keep the, the board moving, but your angle being vertical because you're gonna wanna be vertical when that board takes off. Another thing that will help that out is as you get your body balance put together, you're gonna wanna keep your eyes focused on something in front of you that keeps your head neutral. So it's not up here or it's not too far down. You're gonna to wanna to keep your spine and your, and your head vertical. The best thing that I like to use is have the divers look at the two bolts that are holding the back of the board down. Cause there should always be two bolts on your, on your diving board. Some, some pools will have different things on the wall or a tree if you're outdoors or a fence, but there's always gonna be those two bolts on the back of the board. So if you could keep your eyes focused there keep your head neutral then you can it's a lot it's going to be a lot easier for you to learn a correct balanced takeoff on a springboard so like i said in the beginning that one of the key things that people don't understand is that when the diving board bends down the angle of what you're standing on is going to change so you need to adapt to keep that balance correct so you can get the best action out of the diving board and the best and safe distance so your dive can be competitive and healthy and safe. So I hope that's helpful to you and maybe your introductory coach for you to have a safe and productive season and learn this sport, which is a great, wonderful sport of diving and learn it competitively and learn it safely. Thank you very much. <laughs>